What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made these three workbenches, each for under a hundred bucks in one day. Let's do it. Now you're probably not going to make three workbenches like I am, but if you are, or if you're going to batch out a lot of products, it helps to have a dedicated station for your tools, rough materials, and the final materials that you need for your build. Since my shop is small, I'm using this affordable base with a sheet of plywood sitting on top to create a miter station. Once all the cuts were made, I stacked the pieces inside the bed of my truck and gripped them by their length. These workbenches will all be the same dimensions, which is 45 inches by 84 inches, with a height on two of the workbenches at 32 inches and one at 36. The top will be a single sheet of half inch plywood. So as you can tell, it's not a very complicated build. For each bench, I end up using eight two by fours and one single sheet of plywood. To attach the two by fours together, I'm simply using wood screws. I'll attach at least two screws at each connection point to prevent the pine boards from rotating. Even though this is a pretty rough workbench, I want to make sure all of my connections are squared so having a square handy definitely helps. When using screws and lumber, you want to make sure that the screws are long enough so that it sinks through both pieces of wood. Since I'm using 2x4 lumber, I'll be using 2 inch screws and will sink the heads into the first piece of wood by at least a quarter of an inch. That way, the tip of the screws will be deep enough inside the second piece of wood by at least 3 quarters of an inch. With the main frame of the base connected together, I'm going to use the scrap pieces to create angle braces at each corner. I'm simply rotating my miter saw to 45 degrees, creating the cut on both ends of my scrap, and then I'll go ahead and secure it at each corner of the base. This really secures the corners so that the workbench won't rack as you're using it. It doesn't hurt to secure every single corner. If you're making a smaller workbench, you probably don't need to, but if you are making a large one, it definitely is a requirement in my opinion if you don't want to deal with the workbench racking back and forth. The one thing I didn't record was me adding the brace in the middle. I just simply did a two by four right down the middle. It's not really a brace, it's only there to support the plywood sheet that I have on top. Since I'm using a full 4x8 sheet, it will help with any deflection that might happen if a lot of weight was placed on the workbench. I made these workbenches for my brother's lighting company. He wanted three of them and in the middle of the process he wanted to have one side open where they can pull the chairs up and work on the workbench. So I had to remove one rail at the bottom. I went ahead and cut it down so that I could place that rail in the center. That way it will add a little bit more structure to the workbench. And it also can act as a footrest for them as they're working, or they can use it as more storage by placing a sheet of plywood on top. Before securing the plywood sheet, I measure to make sure all of the edges are nice and even on all four sides. Then I'll go ahead and screw the top down into place. As I mentioned before, I use eight two by fours and a single sheet of plywood. That ended up being $89, plus a box of screws for $10, which brings us to $99 for a full 4x8 workbench. 
Of course, if yours is going to be smaller, you'll definitely save some money there. But for under 100 bucks, you definitely can get a lot of workspace. So there you have it. These are three workbenches, each for under 100 bucks. It really took me four hours to make these three workbenches. You could probably get one done in less than an hour. Um, of course, if you're going to make it smaller, then you're going to need a smaller sheet of plywood. This is a full four by eight sheet. Under 100 bucks, you could definitely get a lot of workbench space. And this is definitely quick and dirty. It's nothing fancy, nothing too spectacular about it it's different from a lot of the builds that i usually do on this channel but this is for my brother he needs it for his um company so i went ahead and just spent one day just knocking it out for them so that is it if you did like this video definitely hit that subscribe button give me the thumbs up and until next time this has been bow with design craft workshop see ya if you like this video hit that like button and definitely subscribe thanks